Hi, welcome in this video mapping tutorial with light gems. We'll create a 80 by 12 LED wall. So let's start by patching the RGB fixtures. That's 960 RGB fixtures that we'll patch in the SCCN universes. Just need to wait a moment. Now I'm resizing the grid to be 80 by 12. And uh, I'll add all intensity attribute at once using the grid array features. I'm setting a width of 80. And then in one click, all, that, all attributes are there. I'll create the U hand saturation grids by duplicating the intensity grid. I'm, I'm selecting all new attributes. I'm using, I'm using the attribute replaced by list selection so that in one click I can, I can replace all intensity attributes by the, the use. I'm doing the same thing with the saturation. Now let's add some video and picture files. Next, I'm assigning the, the video file to my grid uh, backgrounds. The video is split into three components, use saturation and intensity. So I'm assigning, I'm assigning the cor corresponding components to each grid. You can just click the background number to change it quickly. You can see the hand result using the monitor. And you can easily remap the color of your video. For example, you can select only one color or you can select a range of color. That's handy to uniformize uh, all videos, uh, all video colors. You can also add the sources to to create more uh, more dramatic effects with your video, so they mix well together. Next, I'll show you how to how to mix multiple videos together. I'm duplicating by sharing the, the, the layout so that I have only one master layout and I, I can change the master quickly uh, uh, if I need to, to do so in the future. I'm giving each scene a unique ID so that I can control uh, the scene from another grid. Now I'm, change, I'm changing the backgrounds of my scene 2 and scene 3 for my uh, other media files. And finally, I'm creating the sequencer grid. That's the grid that will activate the other, the other grids. So I'm resizing it to, to, to be only three. Now my source. I'm disabling, I'm deactivating my scenes in order 
that they only be activated by the sequencer grid. So now back to my sequencer grid, I'm selecting the activation attributes of my scenes. And now, as you can see, as my source moves, uh, moves around, it activates, the, it activates the scene. You can add fade in, fade out. And you see the end result. Now the, the videos and images and an image are mixing very well with the little fade. You can also play with the, the speed. The video playback is automatic, uh, automatically adjusted. Thank you for watching.